Hello, so in today's video, I will be showing you how to take live trades using the intraday terminal directly on Stolo, right? So on Stolo, you have three terminals where you can take live trades directly. One is the option chain. You have your uh, intraday terminal, which we will be covering as well as your scalping terminal, right? So these are the three terminals. So uh, option chain and scalping terminal will be covered in a different video. Today, we will be uh, going through intraday terminal right so first thing you would have to do in order to start taking live trade is to connect your broker right so i've connected uh, up stocks as you can see here and uh, uh, if you want to connect any of your brokers you can check uh, the videos in our youtube channel or you can head over to help.stolo.in here you can click on uh, broker integrations here and you can uh, integrate any of the available brokers, right? For example, here, Paytm Money, Kotak Neo, Angel One, Pai Pai Sadan, Share Khan, and much more are available, right? You can simply click on any of them, for example, Upstocks here, and you would be able to see a video uh, on how to connect it on Stolo and take live trades, right? Which is, which is uh, really simple, and you would be able to uh, get it done within five minutes itself, right? So once you have connected it, uh, you can see here, this is the uh, intraday terminal here, right? So uh, you can, um, on the left side is your watch list and on the right side is your um, trading view chart itself, right? To do any of your uh, analysis and take live trades directly. So you can see a question mark here, which would show you all the help content in order to help you use the intraday terminal better. And we would also be adding the video here, right? You also have your disclaimer, which I would suggest you to go through thoroughly before taking any live trade, right? And once you've understood it, you can simply click on, I understand here, right? And uh, on the left side, you can see the watch list, right? So we have a delete uh, button here, which would delete all the strikes in the watch list, right? For example, I have four strikes here on confirming. You can see that all my strikes have been removed here, right? You also have a uh, plus button here where you can add the strikes, right? So you can change uh, any of the uh, indexes here between Bank Nifty, Fin Nifty, Midcap Nifty, and Nifty, and you can uh, select or add any strikes to the watch list directly, right? For example, here 22,300. Uh, 22,350, I've added uh, four strikes, right? And you also, you can change your expiry if you would like to. So currently I've set the current expiry, right? Uh, so as you've seen that, uh, the strikes have been added directly here, right? If you want to search, you, uh, you can also search and add here. You can simply type Nifty uh, 22,400 and uh, you can see all the strikes here, right? So I, you can cl simply click on the plus icon here and you can click on close and you can see that 22,400 CE and PE have been added directly here, right? So uh, on hover of the uh, strikes here, you can see that you have a buy button, a sell button. Uh, on click of buy or sell, you can see a pop-up uh, here, which I will come to uh, soon and you also have a uh, open grab button right so 22300 uh, ce if you click on open graph you can see that that specific graph would be opened here directly right uh, let me just change it back to the futures chart uh, april futures yeah uh, if you would not like to open it there but if you want a pop-up of that specific uh, chart you can simply click on the eye here and you can see the pop-up directly here of that specific strike right which is 22,000 c uh ce here and if you do not want uh you if you want to delete only that specific strike you can click on the uh uh, delete icon here and you can see that that strike has been gone from the watch list itself right so uh that is how you would handle the uh, watch list here on the trading view chart it is uh, same you can add any of your indicators for example i've added rsi here uh, you can do your price action analysis here directly and take trades right so for example here let me just take uh, let's say one ce and one pe to keep it on the same side right so let's say i add a 22350 uh, CE of 50 quantity. So yeah, in the pop-up here, you would be able to see the live price of 22,350 CE, which is at 93 rupees currently. You can uh, you can set the quantity, right? So for example, if I change it to 100, you can see it's changed to two lots as well, right? So I'll just set it to 50 here. You can, uh, you can set it between market order and limit order. I'll set it to market and uh, MIS or normal, right? I'll choose MIS here and click on 
buy right and uh, similarly i'll add a 22350 pe as well 50 quantity market order mis and buy right so as soon as you have clicked on buy you can see that my orders have directly been added here below right which is your uh order management window right or your trade widget anything you would like to call it right so here you have different columns you can see your uh, margin in the funds you can see your trade book uh, trade book is nothing but all the orders you have taken since morning you can see all the orders here for example the latest order we have taken at 2 5 uh, pm which was a market order of 22350 pe you can see the status has been complete uh, order type is buy of 50 quantity and the price we entered at was 154 point three five right so uh that is for your trade book open orders uh let me just take an example for example here twenty two thousand four hundred pe if i set it at limit it's currently at 185 i'll just set a price of 10 mis and click on buy right so uh this is nothing but any of your open uh, orders that have not been placed yet will show in this particular tab right and you can see all the details here right so it was a limit order 22,400 PE status is still open. So if you go to trade book here, you can see the status as open, right? And uh, you can see that the quantity of place is at 50. LTP currently is at 180. It's uh, life changing. So you can see the LTP here and the price it would be triggered at, right? So I'll just close this for now and I head over to the positions tab, right? So positions tab, you can see currently all your uh, orders that you're placed you can see your pnl here which is accumulative of all right and uh, you can handle individual orders uh, as well so here for example i'll take an example of uh, 22350 pe which is a buy order if you click on the i icon similarly you can see the pop-up of that particular strikes chart and uh, if you want to add more quantity you can directly click on this plus quantity uh, and you can add if you uh, any sort of quantity you would like to add right you can also see the uh, run time here so 22350 uh, i had actually taken this order previously as well in the morning so hence it is showing me a time of 1 hour 19 minutes uh, example here 22350 which i have not taken an order before you can see that uh, it is um, the elapsed time is just two minutes 20 uh, 30 seconds and entry was at two five right so this particular strike i had entered at 12 47 uh for the first time right and as you can see here in the top right we are currently at 2 8 pm right so uh, it would show you if uh, if you have taken this strike previously as well you can add a target and stop loss which i shall come to uh, soon and uh, 22350 you can see that the open quantity is uh, at 50 the entry price we had done at was 154 and you can see ltp at 157 currently and we have captured a uh, three points here right and pnl is 155 currently you also have your actions that is nothing but you can exit your position or you can also partially exit right so as we have taken only one lot here you can exit only one lot if you have taken more than one lot you would also have partial exit right so uh, that is how it is i should come to the stop loss part as well right so for example here you can click on add stop loss you can add it in terms of three uh things one is price points or percentage right so i'll just choose price here it's currently at 156 i'll add uh, for example here the uh, stop loss at 150 right and my manual trailing um, stop loss points the increment decrement points of it would be one right which i shall show you how exactly it's used and i can simply click on set stop loss here right so you can see that at 150 my stop loss is set and uh um you can you would seen that uh, my increment decrement points was one right so on click of plus you can see that my uh stop loss increased by one similarly if i click on minus it would decrease by one right and you can quickly uh edit your stop loss by simply clicking on this plus or minus button right uh similarly you can add a target as well okay i think yes one of the stop loss was triggered so as soon as it's triggered as you can see it would automatically exit your order right and uh yes you can see the history of that order here uh which we should come to quickly right so similarly you, you can add a target as well so uh i can add it in terms of uh points here for example and i'll add uh, 10 points uh stop loss right so current uh yeah, entry price was we were at 92.05. So we'll add a stop loss, right? Which uh, on addition of 10 points was at 102.05, right? So similarly, as the increment decrement 
points was uh, one for target as well. You can see that on increase, it would increase by one point and by decrease, it would decrease by one point, right? So that is how you uh, add a stop loss and target as well. I'll just cancel this target, for example, here and exit this position, right? So uh, once you've done that, you can see here, you can simply refresh and you would see your total PNL for the day, right? So uh, for example, here, the total trades I've taken was 17. I've traded for uh, a total of 41 minutes and I made a profit of 1,645, right? You can also see your overall stats, your profitable stats, your in-loss stats. And if you would like to see, uh, sorry, yeah. If you'd like to see any of your specific trade stats, you can just click on that. For example, here at 126, I had taken uh, 22,550 C, made a profit of 160, uh, 5 rupees by entering at 23 and exiting at 25, right? I captured uh, 1.65 uh, points at a quantity of 100. So that is how you would take live trades on the intraday terminal itself, right? So uh, uh, the live trade on option chain and scalping terminal will be covered on a, a different video, which you can surely check on a YouTube channel, right? So uh, yes, hope I've covered anything. If you have any doubts, you can surely put it in the comments below and we would be happy to help, right? So yes, thank you.